Previously on Chemistry Talk with Dan. It's time for another episode of the Atomic Game Show. It looks like I'm gonna have to jump. And now the exciting conclusion. Welcome back to the Atomic Game Show. I am not Dan. Let's get started. All right, our cations. We have sodium plus one, calcium plus two, and aluminum plus three. Our anions across the top. We have hydroxide negative one, sulfur negative two, and nitrogen negative three. So let's put them together to make some ionic compounds. Our first one up, sodium and hydroxide. Well, we have a plus one and a negative one that already add up to zero, so we just need one of each. And that is NaOH. Next one up, sodium and sulfur. So here we have a positive one and a negative two. They do not add up to zero, so we need to figure out the lowest common multiple, which in this case is two. So I need two sodiums to balance out the negative two from the sulfur. We have Na2S. Okay, next category, we have sodium and nitrogen. We have a positive one and a negative three. So our lowest common multiple here is three. So I need three sodiums and one nitrogen. Na3N. Okay, next category, we have calcium plus two and hydroxide negative one. So once again, our lowest common multiple is two. This time, we need two of the hydroxides in order to balance out the calcium over here. So we have one calcium and we need two hydroxides. But wait a minute, this is a polyatomic ion. And polyatomics need to be kept together. So we put a parentheses and two. All right, next up we got calcium and sulfur. Well, they already add up to equal zero, so we just need one of each. That is C, A, and S. All right. Next category, calcium plus two and nitrogen negative three. So we have a two and a three. Our lowest common multiple, as we said before, is six. So in order to, for the positive two to become a six, I need three of these. So that is Ca3, and then I need two of my nitrogens to make that be a negative six. So that is two nitrogens. Our formula is Ca3. N2, all right, almost there. Last one, aluminum plus three, hydroxide negative one, so one and three, lowest common multiple is three, so I need three hydroxides. A, L, parentheses, O, H, parentheses, three, right, because it's a polyatomic, we gotta keep it all together. Next up is aluminum plus three and sodium, or sulfur minus two. So again, two and a three, our lowest common multiple here is six, so I need two aluminums right there to make that a positive six, and I need three sulfurs to make that a negative six, so that is S3, full formula, Al2, S3. Last but not least, we have aluminum plus three and nitrogen negative three. They already add up to zero. We just need one of each, so A-L-N. Thank you so much for playing our game. If you have any further questions, be sure to comment below. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.